able to get home after the show. So, we're going to use some of the pyrotechnics that they were due to employ as part of their routine to show off something of the operational role of this unassuming looking but very, very significant air observation post platform. So, uh, do get ready for some bangs during this display. This aircraft was a derivative of a civilian design from the Taylor Craft Company. Known as so-called air observation post platforms. What exactly did that mean? Well, it was a very warlike and very frontline role. These aircraft were to be used for over-the-horizon artillery spotting, able to directly and more accurately guide artillery units as to where, where to bring their guns to bear. It really was a vital role, whether performed by Austers, as we see here, or the Piper L4s and other so-called Grasshopper liaison aircraft, particularly in the latter stages of World War II in Europe, but also in other theatres. These aircraft would operate extremely close to the front lines, often flying from uh, unprepared strips, maybe even roads, in the vicinity of the artillery units. Maybe even in Normandy, in the very heavily hedge-lined countryside, the so-called Bocage, because the short takeoff and landing capabilities of these light aeroplanes were considerable. As I said, this Oster AOP-6 is the mark that was most used during the Korean War from 1950 to 53, serving with an RAF unit in that theatre. This was a few years before the Army Air Corps, its outstanding slow flying capability, in an even stronger headwind, the ground speed could indeed be still reduced over what we see here.